What's the difference between projection and portrait? You can see this in a four perspective view. I like to work in a larger single. That's what I'm just clicking on that arrow there to do that. Projection is what I used to use. Portrait was created as a stage two, which is what I use now. Um, and what's the difference? So with projection, what happened is that this was the first build of Cockpit 3D, where when I click on go, and I rotate this, you'll see that there's a shadow casted from the guitar. So when someone was raising a, a toast, for example, or holding flowers in front, far away from their body, uh, it would create this very obvious shadow. What we understand is because the camera cannot see what's behind it. So it's just leaving it away. However, the customer sometimes might actually complain thinking that there's an error and you forgot to model that part of their body. So in order to make this less obvious to the human eye, what you wanna do is you wanna kind of sort of fill it with points. Just again, we're not getting into 360 modeling where we're actually gonna go in and create polygons in places that there aren't polygons or that the camera can't see. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to change this here to portrait mode. So again, it's under setting, edit geometry. So if I go portrait mode, I can hear set sample radius. How strong do I want those points to fill? Do I want them to just kind of fill a little bit subtly or do I want them to fill a little more stronger? The higher this number, the more points that'll fill, but also the longer it will take to calculate. I think we use 1.5, but I'm gonna keep it at three just to kind of exaggerate and demonstrate this. So now if I click on go, it is filled this area. If I do it what we currently do, 1.5, save, okay. It's a little less. And if I go one, when are you going to use projection mode so projection mode is something that i'll use for example what's happening here is it's taking it calculating space between and it's filling that space now there might be scenarios where you really want the detail of the whiskers on the cat or the flyaway hair or the fur and you don't want the fur to combine points between them you don't want the whiskers to combine points between them. In that scenario, when you really want that enhanced detailing of those small little elements that you don't want combined points, in that scenario, you can use projection and then it won't autofill and you'll see those subtle details of the fur actually end up burning a lot more accurate than crystal.